Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan. Party music deep in the heart of D'Addario Land, Texas. It's Saturday. How's yours going? I guess I'll do a little vlog today. We'll see what happens. We didn't shoot an Ask RNA yesterday because there really weren't enough questions, honestly. So to spend the time in the setup and shoot and then edit and then upload and it's quite a bit of time involved to make even just the Ask Barney videos. A bit of my personal time because I have to watch it and watch it all the way through and cut and edit if I need to or you know adjust the color or what have you make sure everything's good before I render it and after it's rendered I've got to upload and descriptions and so anyways you know it's got to be enough questions in there for us to to do it. Same thing with the vlogs. We'll see. But I, I'll do it in a day because, I don't know, things might get interesting. About to have lunch. We just opened the store. Saturday. So excited. Well, I've been super busy, so I haven't uh, vlogged much with people coming in and doing emails and all kinds of craziness. But Pete's here. I'm here. So excited. Yeah, and he brought something fun. It's a invisible pit guard. The dirty <laughs> invisible pit guard. Yeah. We've already, or not, I say we. Pete has already filed it down a little bit. Put a gouge in your finger. That would be bad. I'd rather. <laughs> you know the gouge would be I would rather take a chunk out of my finger than out of this pick guard. Got it to fit just Another right. Trial fit of it. We're about to put it on for real this time. For reals. Get it nice and clean first. Being. Probably need to clean the guitar. <laughs> yes. Being a little bit of dust or even a fingerprint on the backside. Being clear, it's just going to show right through. There we go. If it'll work. Ah, uh, yeah. All the strings, all the nuts, everything lines up. All the bolt screws, that's what I'm looking for. Screws. Screws. I need some lunch. I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, I didn't have any lunch either, man. I had breakfast at 11. You were tempting me with that pizza last week, and I thought about getting one, and I was like, no, I've got food at the house. I don't need to spend money. I had, that's what I had for breakfast at 11 was some <laughs> gas station pizza. Hey, can't get better than, it. than gas station pizza. I'm trying to save money. I, I should have brought some food from the house, but uh, I was in a rush. I did not get up early since it was Saturday. So I want to sleep. Kids awake, 6.45. My kids are old enough to feed themselves breakfast. <laughs> so I can just... That didn't mean I got up at 6.45. That's just what I was awake at. Oh. I didn't get out of bed till 7.30. Yeah. But, yeah, 6.45. Lights were on. TV was turned on. We want to watch cartoons. Somebody's pouring a bowl of cereal. Typical kid stuff. That's fine. We are installed. Yeah. So now we can see this beautiful burst on this awesome quilted top. What does Schechter call this burst? Is it called like a tobacco burst or is that? Yeah, like I think a, it is. I think it's a tobacco burst. Or, or Dark Vintage Burst? Dark Vintage Burst, yeah, I think. DVS? That dark Vintage Sunburst? That other company might have uh, lay claim to that tobacco burst. Yeah, you probably got to be careful what you, you name things. I'm not normally one for vintage or tobacco bursts. I like my favorite. I like trans black <laughs> guitars. Not solid black. People think I like black guitars. I don't. I like... Trans black, translucent finishes. See, I love the tobacco bursts, the vintage bursts. I'm not 
big on the strats with their three tone bursts. Yeah. But you get a single cut guitar with that dark honey burst, tobacco burst, whatever you want to call it. Love them. Yeah. This, this one just. Yeah, that's great, man. If this wasn't your personal guitar, I may just buy it. We could always order another. We can. Well, you can. Maybe, because this is a 2016 special edition. I know for a fact they're going to continue making this guitar. I don't know if they'll make it in this finished for much longer. So, If anybody wants one, you might want to call me and get one ordered in this specific finish. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Me likey. Now you can actually see the top. You can. I'm trying to get... Looky there. Is it getting it? Oh yeah, oh, like from straight on, you can't really sort of see it. From the edge, you can kind of see the bevels. Yeah, it's got a yeah. nice little beveled edge around here, left through here, flat, so it hugged the pickup rings properly, but beveled this edge and polished it up. Left the the edges unpolished, just so it gave it some depth. Yeah, oh yeah, from here, it kind of looks like a little bit of a 3D yeah. edge. That, yeah, that's, I gotta say, I think this is way better than the black pickguard. Oh yeah. And if Schechter starts making it like this, I think Mom, they're going to have to write you a check. They're going to have to do something. Rosebud guitars. There you go. Uh, hey, send me one of these guitars, and you can you can use this. Yeah. There you go. Pete will let you use his idea, Schechter, <laughs> if you send him a guitar for free. I'm sure they have much better things to worry I, about. Than yeah, they, they worry probably. Worry about me and my little, little guitar, guitar deal I got going. Yeah, I don't think they'll... Uh, they don't care. They might not. Maybe That's, they will care. They're pretty cool dudes. They might actually use that idea, though, because I think might. it's pretty sick. I don't remember the last time. I don't think I've... Have you ever seen a guitar with a clear pickguard? Acoustics have the yeah. little peel-and-stick kind of clear things. Yeah. And that was one of the things I ran into looking for pickguard material was nobody sells clear pickguard material. You just have to go and get cast acrylic. Yeah. And, you know, you can't go to... Uh, Stu, Stu Mac or you know uh, Luthier Merchantile or anything like that and get a clear pickguard material they just don't sell it yeah. unless it's the thin stuff peel and stick for acoustics that's all they sell how thick is this? Do you... one, eighth. one eighth it's a little thicker than the stock I think this stock is about 330 seconds maybe a little bit yeah, it's probably 330 seconds. Just a hair under an eight. So it's close to the same thickness, but... But a smidge more. A little bit more. It's a little more beefy. I was kind of worried about maybe having to get some longer screws. Mm -hmm. But these seem to be biting fairly well. It's good. So it's working. I'm excited. I think it looks great. I think it looks awesome. Massive improvement over this. Yeah. Not that this is a bad pit guard. No, no. It's a great pig guard. It's made well. It looks good. It still has plastic on it. Should we peel the plastic off? I don't, I don't know. Do we want that satisfaction? I don't Here, know. I'll hold it. You peel the plastic. Because I'm going to have to keep it in case. It... Hey! <laughs> Paul would be so mortified. Like, he has <laughs> bases that are like 10 years old that still have plastic on them. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm going to have to wrap that up and put that somewhere safe. Put it in a, put it in a gallon bag and pin it to the wall. Yeah, I still have my original pit guard to my Explorer. Yeah. Even though I have the really sweet diamond plate pit guard. Yeah. I kept the original just in case. Gotta I'm never, I'm never going to put it back on. No. But no. I got to keep it. So I'm if probably not ever going to take that off either. <laughs> if you do, be careful. that It does like to, to splinter. If, does it? If you crank it out on this too hard, you, you might get a crack. Ah. It's... Very strong material, but it's it does have its weak points. Okay. Well, I had some issues with drilling it um, for another project. I went just a little too fast, fast, and the whole piece just shattered. Oh, that's so not good. time to start over. This didn't have any problems with it, but as long as you don't crank down on it too hard, which there's no reason to crank down on it. Yeah. You just you get them tight and you're good. Well, now there's no reason to take it on and off anymore. There you go. People keep asking me like, why does the pit guard keep falling off that checker? <laughs> I'm like. Reasons because it's usually hanging right over here it's in hanging. the background, and this is where you stand. I'm in the captain's chair right now. Yeah, it's where you stand and do your uh, your videos. But now it'll probably it'll probably it'll probably stay. Yeah, hold it, hold the fight. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. Yeah, 
That's great. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That is pretty sweet. I would have just kept it off, but I didn't like how it looked off with the screw holes. So, oh man, that is, that's like it's 3D. That's pretty sweet. There's like a 3D transparent force shield. Star Wars pit guard. There you go. Oh, can't say that. Disney might sue us too. No. Trademark. Let's not talk about that. All right. Trademark. That's pretty sweet. So I guess this is technically a Rosebud Guitars pit guard. Sure. Would that be would that be accurate? I guess so. I guess so. That looks great, man. I dig it. I thought it was pretty cool. That's you know, a little upgrade. That's great. Hopefully the guys at Schechter won't mind. No, I don't think they will. They'll probably dig it. Just something fun. It is. I'm not saying we're gonna start offering it as a service to upgrade your Schecters or anything, but you know. Yeah. It's something cool for a good Schecter dealer. Yeah. To kind of showcase what the guitars can be. Yeah. I I like this. I like this mo better. Way That's mo good. better. <laughs> See that guys at Schecter. Start doing this. Yeah. Schecter, please. Uh, It'd be pretty cool. Think about it. Think about it. Why not? That's where we got the diamond plate idea because Washburn used to do diamond plate pit guards on their Vs. I thought, ooh, that would be sweet on my Explorer. So, so I'm going to take this home. Uh, and play it. I should probably play it tomorrow. Okay, I'll I should probably play it today, I'm actually. I'm going to take it home. I've got to go home and do chores. And eat lunch. And eat lunch. Yes, i got to eat lunch. At what time is it? No idea. 3.45. <laughs> <laughs> time for lunch. <laughs> Mow the yard. Well, thanks, oh, it's dude. it's raining. Why mow the yard? Oh, that's right. It's rained it's, a lot today. No mowing. It's been raining for, what, a week and a half? Probably. It has. It's, all week. it's been cool, though. It has been cool. It has not been 100 degrees this week. Yeah. In Texas. All right, so, man. Go home and play go. video games. That's what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to go home and play guitar, actually. Go home and play this guitar. Yeah. Yes. I, ooh, I left the case at the house, though. I'll figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, cool. Pete. No problem. Enjoyed it. Later. trying to uh, film some guitar playing. <laughs> Pete had just left. I thought I would play the guitar a little bit. And the camera died. So I'm home. It's like almost 6 o'clock on Saturday. Probably going to not make this a very long vlog. It'll be short. Uh, it's been a really long week. And very tiring lots of stuff going on so uh anyways i thought i'd show you the back porch again our huge lab mastiff is destroying everything that used to be a sky pencil she's dragging up all kinds of sticks and stuff and chewing them up on the back porch it's so dry they've everything's been dying so this is angela's uh little flower bed that the dog has completely destroyed and dug up all her shrubs and drug them off. She's naughty. She's gonna get it. What are you doing? Reading Star Wars comics. Yeah, let me see the cover. Old school. What is this? Is number 89? I guess so. Yep. I'm not really reading them order, I'm just reading them. It's my big pile of comic books. Yeah. That my son is going through. You're not gonna read them. No well, probably not. Well I might. I read them when I was your age. Here's some artwork that Angela just finished. It's pretty cool. Family photos. That's from like a year ago. She just made this, which is awesome. She freehanded this one, I think.
pretty sweet. And then she just finished this painting uh, yesterday, or day before yesterday. It's pretty flippin' awesome. It's a copy. She copied it from someone else. Someone else painted this originally, and then she tried to recreate it. I think she did an awesome job. <laughs> and some frames with no pictures. But pretty stinking proud of her. She's really proud of this painting right here. It's very nice. I'm so excited. So I think that's probably going to be it for today's vlog. It's Saturday, whatever day it is in August. That cat, man, I tell you what. So I think that's going to do it. I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to go edit this video, get it put together. Maybe it'll be up tonight. Maybe, possibly. Shut up. Why are you making so much noise? Ashes. Golly. You calm down. Go play. Anyways. <clears throat> so we're going to call it a day, I guess, on this. <sighs> if I get any peace from the cat. <clears throat> so I've been thinking a lot about uh, kind of the future of our YouTube channel kind of what direction I want to go in. You know, we'll see what happens. I don't think I've done probably enough. Stop it, cat! Ashes, stop! Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's rubbing on the uh, tripod. YouTube doesn't love you, Ashes. You need to stop. Uh... I don't think I've done enough, probably, just demo videos and gear reviews and playing things. I've kind of slipped away from that stuff, and I've done a lot more of the Ask RNA videos, which I enjoy, of course, and doing those videos with Angela and then doing the vlog things. So, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to decide, do I want to change directions and make it more of, you know, obviously it's about our store, but the, our store is us. We are a mom and pop shop like for real like no, I'm not the owner and then I pay people to run it and I just show up whenever like it's literally us it's me and Angela running everything and teaching the students and taking care of sales and shipping and buying gear and inventory so it, it really is us it's a mom and pop shop so you know our lives revolve around it quite a bit so it is us so it is And our cats and dogs. Stop it. Stop it. She's a mess. So, you know, you know, finding the balance between the personalities and the lives and the vlog style things and us as a couple and people. And then of course, you know, or being a gear channel and just strictly about gear and music and guitars. So kind of trying to find that out. We've been doing it for six years now, about six and a half years of YouTube for RNA. Um, I have a personal YouTube channel, but I really don't use it much. So, you know, I'm just thinking about what we may do and what the future holds for, you know, this, this side of RNA music. We're going to, I mean, continue to have a channel, so don't worry about that. There's, there's going to be an RNA music channel. I'm just trying to strike a balance of think of what I want to do with it, and what keeps it interesting and fun for us and for me. So, so we'll see. Anyways, vlog. Hope your weekend's great. Keep the music alive. Uh, get some rest if you need it, you guys. Play some music if you want. Or just relax and enjoy your time. Whichever. It's a balance for me. I'm always thinking about music and guitars. Even when I'm off, I'm thinking about guitars. So, I don't know. I guess I'm really into guitars and music. All right. Anyways, hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay fast. Stay safe out there. You can tell I'm tired. I can't even talk straight. Keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Go feed your cat.
th those are my, those are my flip flop sashes. Those are my weight sashes.